Hi everyone, welcome to Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. So this sweater was inspired by Angela from My Precious Yarnery. She made a beautiful cardigan. So I'll link that below, make sure you guys go check it out. Okay, how this sweater works is, you can use a sweater that you have as a template to make this one. Or you can just go ahead and right at the center of your shoulder up here, you're just gonna make a chain that goes all the way down right to the length you want your sweater to be. And then we're gonna work up and down in rows. Okay, until you have it the width, the back panel the width that you want it. Now I suggest to, um, making your panel wide enough that it's gonna go around at least halfway under your arm maybe even a little more. So it's not too tight. You know, you, you want, I don't know, I like mine a little, a little loose and comfortable. Okay, and then uh, front panel will be this, made the same way. Just we're going to make a neck opening. Um, I give you the option of a collar or a hood. We have a hoodie on this one. And the panels for the sleeves are made the same way as the back panel, but your when you put your panels together, your um, the body of your sweater is going to come down your arm just a little bit. See how far it comes down? So you're going to make a, two panels for your arms that are from around there to just above your wrist by two and a half, three inches or so, because we're going to make um, a cuff on it as well. So you're gonna end up making four panels all together, front, back, and two sleeves. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. For this sweater, I used um, this Calibec and I held it together with this baby yarn. These are from Hersner's. I don't see this one on Hersner's site anymore. I don't know if they're not carrying it. Um, I held these two yarns together. They are both a three weight. Okay, so it's 100% acrylic is what I used. There's 100 grams here, 292 meters in this pink one. And this one is also 100% acrylic, um, 100 grams, 276 meters in this one. So I used, for my size, which is about a medium-large, I used um, almost four skeins of each one by working with them held together. Uh, two three weights together, I believe, make a four weight. So you could also use a four weight for this sweater. You could use a three weight, if you like, just by itself, if you want something more lighter. and. Uh, and for the blue one that I made, I used, again, the Calibec four skeins. And uh, I used just some whites that I had kicking around the house, partial balls, and held it together with, with this blue one. And I used an 8 millimeter hook for both sweaters. For the back panel, we're going to make a chain that starts at the center of the top of your shoulder and goes to the length that you want for your sweater. I made mine a length of 22 inches, which is 56 centimeters. And I'm going to make my piece 19 inches across, which is 48 centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to chain 60 plus three. Now there's no multiples, you just chain what you need for your length. I'm about a medium to large, so I'm gonna make 29 rows. Make sure you make an odd number of rows. All right, we're gonna double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and we're going to make double crochets all across this row. Chain one at the end of your row, turn your work, put a double crochet in that first stitch
And then the next stitch, we're going to put a back loop, double crochet, back loop only, double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across our row. Back loop, double crochet. At the end of the row, make a double crochet into that last stitch. Chain one, turn your work. And again, make a double crochet into that first stitch. And then make back loop double crochets into every stitch. After that, we're going to be repeating this for all the rows. At the end of each row and the beginning of each row, put a double crochet under both loops. When you've completed your back panel, you should have an odd number of rows. Set your back panel aside and we're going to work on the front panel. Front panel is made the same way and I'm going to make 29 rows. To calculate where you need your neckline on the front panel, um, I have 29 rows for the back panel. So the front panel I will do It'll be 29 rows as well, but I'm going to subtract one, which makes it 28, and then divide that by two, so 14. I know I need 14 rows before I start my neckline. All right, so this is how we're going to do the neckline. I'm going to mark, uh, mark the neckline here. For my neckline, I have counted 15 double crochets. I'm going to put the stitch marker just on the other side of that 15th double crochet. All right, so you're going to continue um, crocheting your next row, which would be your odd number row. Okay, put a double crochet in that first stitch. Do the back loop double crochet into the next, all the way up until you get to your stitch marker. Now I'm at my stitch marker. This is going to be the opening of the neck. You make it the size you want by skipping less stitches or more if you want to make it bigger but I've skipped 15. I'm going to make a chain of one less than what I skipped. I skipped I'm skipping 15, so I'm gonna make a chain of 14. Made 14 chains, now I'm going to add extra three. We're gonna turn our chain this way. We're gonna put a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Now we're going to put a double crochet into every chain. I have 14 stitches. Now I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to turn it like this. And then I have that one chain left there to do, so I'm going to put a double crochet in there. So that equals 15 now. And then I'm going to put a back loop double crochet in each of these stitches until we get to the end of the row. And then we're going to continue on just making it just like we did the front panel. I mean the back panel, sorry. And 
And I had 29 rows for the back panel, so I'm going to have 29 rows for the front panel as well. You will have whatever number you have as long as it's an odd number. Okay, finish off your, your front panel. You're going to make your sleeve panels the same way you made your back panel. Now when you sew your sweater together, your body of your sweater is going to come down a little bit, like over your shoulder down here. So your sleeve panels need to be the lengths from about here on your arm to about two and a half, three inches above your wrist. Because we're going to add on a cuff on each sleeve. For my length of sleeve, I chained 35 plus 3. And then you put your sleeve, drape your sleeve over your arm and make sure there's lots of room. So I did 21 rows with mine. It doesn't have to be an odd number. My sleeve came out to be 13 inches long before the cuff, which is 33 centimeters, and I made it 15 inches wide, which is about 38 centimeters. When you make your sleeve panel, make sure you drape it over your arm and then it hangs, hangs low without pulling the fabric. Make sure it hangs low. I have about this much space to keep uh, to sleep comfortable. Okay, here I have the front piece and the back piece. Now I have the front of our fabric facing up. They're both the front sides facing up. And what I'm going to do is measure about four inches on the other side of our split here for our, our open neck. So about four inches, and I'm gonna mark with a stitch marker at that four inch mark. And do the same on the other side. Okay. So then I'm gonna connect the back piece and the front piece. Um, we are gonna be sewing here and here, uh, is my hand in the way, from the edge where your arm goes to this stitch marker here. Okay, we're going to leave the rest of it open for the time being. So I'm going to flip, put my back piece onto my front piece so that the front of the fabric are facing each other. Okay, because we're going to sew on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to pin right in that corner as close as I can get. Where I have this stitch marker where I marked the four inches. Hook it to the other piece. Do the same on the other side, of course. Okay, just hook that together. So you have your pieces hooked together. Now we're only going to sew from the the edge where your this is where your arm is going to come through. Just be, you know, including in between these three stitch markers. All right. Now I'm just going to sew, did my camera move? <laughs> I'm just going to sew um, with one yarn. I mean, if you double it, like you've doubled throughout your, your hoodie, maybe, uh, yeah, it might be stronger. Um, so normally I take, you know, Piece of yarn times about four of the lengths where I need to be sewing just to make sure I have enough and I'm not actually wasting any either. 
Okay, so you can sew it the way you want to sew it. I just, um, I'm just going to go under, try to go under two loops on either side. And then I'll make a knot. And uh, sew that in later. Okay. Yeah, do it however you want to do it. Some people don't like sewing and they actually just go ahead and crochet. <laughs> Can you see me? I might be kind of far away. Yeah. So that's just what I do. And there are two loops on either side. All right, just continue sewing that and I'll see you for the next part. Okay, now we have our shoulders sewn together here. These, this is the front, front um, side of our sweater. And then we're going to take our sleeve and this is the front side facing up. Okay, front side's facing up on everything right now. And our sleeve is going to run vertically. So then what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm just going to fold it over. I'm going to take a stitch marker. And I'm going to mark the middle of it. Okay, fold it over. Mark the middle of it. Unfold it again. And we're going to put the middle right at our seam here where we sewed our shoulder. So just hook that right in there. And then I'm going to put a couple of stitch markers, or one stitch marker on either side. Right here at the end of our sleeve part, and at the end here. If you like, you can put more. But now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over. Okay, so that the right side, right sides are facing one another, and then we're just going to sew right along here. Okay, and do the other sleeve the same way, of course, and then I will see you back here. Okay, once you have your sleeves sewn on, um, what we're going to do, this, our whole outfit here is the right side facing up right now. So you're going to flip your, your sweater like this. And now you're on the inside where you want to be when you're sewing. And what we're going to do is line, line up your underarm here. Line up every all the edges along your sleeve here your underarm and right down to the bottom there just put some pins in and then we're going to be sewing sewing all the way here okay on both both sleeves of course that's obvious <laughs> so i'm just going to pin this right in the corner right where that your armpit will be Sorry, I'm trying to film this as best I can. I'm, uh, I'm a one-woman show over here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, just pinning it, and then you're just going to be uh, crocheting it. I mean, uh, sewing it, sorry, sewing it. Okay, so with mine, the blue one, I made a slit. Okay, so I did not actually... Sew it all the way to the bottom, I believe. Let me just check here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I left 12 stitches. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, just on the other side of that 12th stitch. That's where, that's where uh, I pinned it. To make that slit on the side. Um, if you don't want the slit, you just sew from the very bottom of your sweater. 
today, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that slit on mine. And there we go. So just sew along there. And I'll see you back for the next step. Okay, here we are with all the pieces put together. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to go on to the next part. I am going to make, um, I'm going to crochet a bit just to make a collar. And because someone was interested, maybe a collar. And then crochet more to make a hood. So I'll show you uh, how to do those. And, um, and then I'll show you how to do the cuffs. Okay, if you want cuffs. Or maybe you just like to do a single crochet right around here and have, you know, three quarter inch sleeves. It's up to you. It's your sweater. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to finish off the bottom here. All right. Let's go to the next step. So here's the front of our sweater. This is our neckline here, our open neck. And this is the right side. Okay, so I'm just going to do a single crochet all the way around. Okay. So what we're going to do is at the end of each row, like this is a row, this is a row, this is a row, this is a row. We're going to put two single crochets in the end of each row. And then we're going to start building our, our hood, but I'm going to stop at a certain point and it'll be a collar if that's what you prefer. All right, so chain one, go back in that same spot with a single crochet. And there's a little space here, put a single crochet there. I'm still using the eight millimeter. That's what I'm going to be using throughout. Okay. So now I want to go into these. I don't want to go around these. I want to go right into those. Um, just, you know, grab a couple of loops on each side. If you can go right into the, the stitch, I guess. Okay, need one more here. So two single crochets in the end, ends of each row. If there's a tiny space, you can go into it, but I kind of like to go under. Let's see, there's a little space there. We can go in there. This one I'm going to grab just a couple loops on each side. It's doubled, so there'll be like two loops on each side. Yeah, so just do that all the way around. Okay, like that. And I'll meet you back. I'll meet you here. All right, we've made our single crochets all the way around. All the way around our collar or opening. So now we're going to chain one, turn our work. You don't have to turn your sweater inside out, just turn, <laughs> turn this part of it. And we're just gonna make double crochets, not back post double crochet, or not back loop double crochets, but just simple double crochets all the way around this, this first row. Okay, go under both front and the back loops with double crochets. Okay, I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, now we've made our double crochet row around. Okay, and if you fold it like this, you have a collar. 
um, but I'm gonna make a few more rows to make it more a more prominent collar and uh, then what you would you would do at that point is you would just do a single crochet all the way around it to just to you know finish it off but I'm gonna make a few more rows here but we're gonna go into the um, uh, back loops only let me get this straightened out again okay so we were working on the inside so now we're gonna work on the outside we're gonna chain one turn our work now we're on the right side and in that first stitch I'm gonna go under both loops and make a double crochet and then the next one we're just gonna go in the back loop and make a double crochet back loop on each of these stitches all the way around until you get to the last one in your row right here and then you'll just put it underneath the back end the front loop at the end but yeah do a back post I mean a back loop sorry <laughs> um, double crochet all the way around except for the end one Okay, and it's going to make that nice little ridge. Okay, I'll be back af after I've made a few rows. Okay, so I have made a single crochet row, just a regular double crochet row, and then a back loop double crochet row, and another back loop double crochet row. So altogether, that's four rows I made. And if you take your... collar this will be a collar and yeah just put it like that you have a collar now of course you can make you know a few more rows and then it'll be longer in the back because it's kind of you know it only folds over a little bit but there that would be your collar here's your open neck you could put a button here um, yeah, so now I'm going to continue on making more rows and make a hood. So you have a couple of options there, a collar like this, and then we're going to make a hood. All right. All right, we're working on our hood. <laughs> it's another day, another hair color. <laughs> we're working on our hood, and uh, I've made 19 rows, which include that first single crochet row. So 19 rows all together. So if you like to just leave it like this, that's what you could do. It's up to you. There's so many options. And maybe you could put a little, a little button there or something, or a little pin. But I'm making the hoodie, so we're just going to pull it up, put it up like this. Hold it together because we're going to be sewing along the top here. And now I had made about 17 rows and then I tried it on like this. And when I put my arm down, it was really pulling, you know, really pulling. So I add a couple of rows and this is the same number of rows, 19 rows that I did in the blue one. Yeah, so 19 seems to be the a good fit for me. And uh, we're going to be putting a uh, a drawstring as well but yeah so um, let's sew the, the hood together and yeah see you soon okay here's our neckline down here our open neck uh, when your face comes through the hoodie here we're gonna sew up the top here that goes across the top of your head okay um, now we want to sew on the inside so um, just turn it. Now we're on the inside. Leave your yarn attached. Just gonna use the white to sew along here. And when we get to this point, um, I'll show you a trick that Angela at My Precious Yarnery showed in her video to not get that point at the top of your head. <laughs> 
All right, so just like normal, go under, under um, a front loop and back loop <clears throat> to make it sturdy. Excuse me. It's first thing in the morning. You know, sew however you, you normally sew. Okay, I'll see you at that point. Am I out of camera here? Okay, I'll see you at the, the point. All right, so I've sewed up to that point at the end there. Oh, I actually sewed it all the way and that's just between the stitches. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit further here and um, show you a little trick that Angela used to get that point not so prominent. Um, I think I'm gonna sew these two stitches here. Let's do double crochets. There's not so much of a space. I don't know why there's a space like that, but there is. So, okay. Put my hand inside. Take that point, oh, take that pointy part and I'm gonna hold it down and sew it down. You know, just like a corner, the corner there, just sew it down so it's flat. Okay, let's flip it over to the right side and see what it looks like. Or, okay, so I'll, I'll need to, well, it's not that bad. Okay, so it's not uh, the, the point, you know, the point. It's more, more curved, but I will fix it up a little bit off camera. All right, I'll see you in the next step. Here's our hood up here our neckline or the neck opening so now I'm going to just do a single crochet all the way around okay so I'm just gonna start anywhere but remember put put two single crochets at the end of each row so let me see just find a spot Start. Okay, pull it through, chain one. Go back in, same spot with a single crochet. And then a single crochet. So that's the end of a row. So I put two single crochets in there. This is the next row, so I'm gonna fit two single crochets at the end of that row. Oops. Okay, right there. Okay, so just put single crochets around and uh, when you get down to your neckline, it'll be easy to see, I think, yeah, here. Just a single crochet in each each of your stitches here and go all the way around your hood. So I finished the single crochet around the hood and the neckline so I decided while well, I'm in the mood for single crochets <laughs> I'll just do across the bottom of the sweater as well. And that's what I did on the blue one just single crochet row just to you know um, give it a, a smooth edge. Okay, so just two single crochets in the end of each row, just like around the hoodie.
Just gives it a smoother edge. Now we're going to make a drawstring. I'm just going to make a simple chain using the two yarns together with my 8 millimeter hook. I'm going to make it a chain of 95. It can be any number you want depending on the length you want of your chain of your drawstring. And we're going to leave a long tail at the beginning and the end. I've chained 75 and then I'm just going to do one more and then leave a long tail and cut that off. I have some beads sitting here. I'm going to choose which beads I want to put on the end. Okay, I'm only going to put beads on one end right now. Okay, I'm going to choose my beads. Alright, I chose my beads. I'm going to use my threader here. Put both strands. Oops. Put both strands through that threader. Alright. <laughs> then I'm going to put these beads on here. Look at these ones. <laughs> these I got from, um, where did I get these? Walmart. Quite a while ago. Okay, I discovered that I need uh, pliers to pull this needle through here. The needle goes through the bead because I checked. But now I got this yarn to pull through. Or I have this yarn to pull through. And there we go. All right, put another bead on. Okay, now I'm just going to tie a knot as close to that bottom bead as possible. A few knots, not just one, because we need it to be big enough to hold those beads on. There we go, and where my scissors go? And then just cut, you know, leave a little bit at the end there. All right, now we're going to weave it through our sweater before I put the beads on the other end. All right, now I'm putting a small safety pin on the end of the tie that doesn't have the beads on it doesn't have the beads on it's a little easier to pull through okay so this is our hood opening and our hood starts uh, somewhere around here that's where that single crochet row is so just um, go fairly close to the edge and just weave in and out Weave in and out. Okay, just like that. All right, it's all threaded through. Here are the ties, looking good. All right, let's go to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna make a cuff. Now your sleeve may end up being wide like this. And so I made a little cuff, took it in, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just hook 
hook my yarn in at the end of one of these rows of your sleeve. Okay. And I'm going to be making single crochets, but some of them are going to be two single crochets together. Okay. So chain one, go back in that same spot, make a single crochet. And then remember, uh, we're going to do two stitches at the end of each row. So I'll go in here. Oops. And make a start of a single crochet. Then I'm going to go in the next spot. Start a single crochet. And then I'm going to pull through all three. And I'm going to do that every second stitch. So one single crochet in the next spot. And then two single crochets together in the next two spots there. Put them together. Okay, one single crochet. And then two single crochets together. And I'm going to do two rows like this. Okay, so on mine, I did uh, 32. And yours may be a different number depending on the width of your sleeve. But I did 32. So write that whatever down the number you do. Write that down because you'll need that for the next sleeve. <laughs> you know, you want them to be the same. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, I'm at the end of that first row. I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. And because my sleeve is still big, that's why I'm going to do a second row. So chain one. Go in the first stitch with a single crochet. And do the same as you did on the other one, the other row. Put two single crochets together. Single crochet, two single crochets together. And after I did this on the first sleeve, I tried it on to make sure it was going to, you know, fit properly. Okay, one single crochet and do two single crochets together. All the way around and I'll see you at the end of this row. When you get to the end of your row, slip stitch into that first single crochet you made. Chain one. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet around that post of that single crochet from the previous row. Double crochet front post. Or front post double crochet. <laughs> All right, then you're going to do a back post, double crochet. Let's see, where are we? Back post, double crochet around the next one. It's a little tight for some reason. I guess because it's a single crochet we're going around. And then we'll do a front post around the next post. And a back post. We're just going to be alternating. Okay. Back post around the next one. And so on. I'll meet you at the next row. Now at the end of that row, just slip stitch into that top stitch, the first stitch you made. And then I'm going to make, how many rows did I make? Three, I believe. Um, yes, so that's one. So then I'm going to make two more rows. So chain one, do a, a front post. 
around your front posted front post double crochet and in the next one do a back post double crochet and in the next one a front post double crochet Okay, if you need to make more than just three of these rows, then go ahead, whatever's going to fit you. Make sure you try it on and see if the sleeves are long enough or, you know, whatever size you need, whatever length. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make another row of these off camera. Now we're going to make a simple pocket. Um, my pocket's going to measure 14 inches across, which is about 35.5 centimeters. I am going to chain, I have chained 40. Um, there's no multiples. Just chain the number that you need to fit across the front of your, um, your hoodie, the size that you want for your pocket. Okay, so we're just going to make single crochets all the way across to the end of the chain in every chain and we're going to make six rows of single crochets I'll just meet you at the end of this first row we're at the end of the first single crochet row we're going to chain one and turn put a single crochet in that first stitch and every stitch afterwards okay and make um, I'm going to make what I say six rows <laughs> yeah I'm gonna make six rows my pockets gonna be around like I said 14 inches across which is 35.5 centimeters across and about seven inches high which is about 18 centimeters Okay, like I said, make yours the size that you want. Okay, make six rows of single crochets. I have my six rows of single crochets. Now we're going to do some decreases. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, we're going to go into that first stitch with our hook, grab our yarn, pull it through. We have two on our hook. Put your hook in the next stitch, wrap your yarn, pull it through so you have three on your hook. Wrap your yarn and pull through all three. Okay, so that's a single crochet decrease. Now in every stitch, up until the last two, we're going to make single crochet in each one. Okay, so make single crochets in each stitch until we get to the last two stitches in this row. I'm at the end of the row and I have two stitches left. So we're going to put our hook in the first one, grab our yarn, pull it through, put our hook in the second one, Grab our yarn, pull it through, wrap our yarn, pull through all three. So we're going to do a decrease on each end, where are we, each end of every second row. So chain one, turn our work. Now this row is just going to be single crochets all the way across. And then the next row will be the decrease at the beginning and at the end. And then the next row will just be single crochets all the way across. Okay, and I'll come back and um, actually, I'll just meet you at the end of this row. We're at the end of the row where we put a single crochet in each stitch. So now we're going to chain one. So this one we're going to be working on right now will be our uh, decrease row where you put a decrease at the beginning of the row and at the end. 
Then the next row will be single crochets all the way across. So we're just alternating. Okay, so we're going to do a decrease, which is two single crochets together. Okay, and then a single crochet in each stitch until you get to the um, two last stitches of this row, and then you do a decrease again. Then the next row will be just single crochets all the way across the row, no decreases. All right, I'll come back and tell you how many rows I made. All right, I've crocheted about 18 rows. And now I'm just going to do about four rows of just single crochets, um, no decreases. Okay, so just go ahead and do that. Do whatever you need, number of rows you need. I'm just going to make, I think, about four. Now I've made, I think it's f either four or five rows I made with no uh, decreases. Okay, now you, you need to finish on the right side of your work because we're going to go all the way around our piece with a row of single crochets just to clean it up. Okay, so I put that last single crochet there. So I'm going to make two more single crochets there <clears throat> just to get us around the corner. And then we're going to put a single crochet at the end of each row. One single crochet at the end of each row. All the way around and make sure that you put um, three single crochets in the corners to get around the corners. Now I tried my sweater on and I positioned the pocket where I want it to go on mine. So um, I've skipped one, two, three, four rows and then pinned there and four rows on the other side. I'm going to have one row, or actually it's going to be two rows, or maybe one row showing at the bottom. And then I've got it pinned at the top there. So what I'm going to do is I need to get this camera <laughs> further out of my face and I'm going to start, it doesn't matter where, but I'm going to start the, the top here. Okay, I'm going to put, <clears throat> put my uh, needle through. I'm going to put it close to the edge and I'm going to go down and I'm going to go back up again to um, secure that that edge nicely. Okay. I'm going to leave my tail out on the outside so I know it's not going to be too short. I won't, won't be able to see it on the inside. Okay. So I am just going to Go in and out and in and out. <clears throat> okay, till I get down to that little where it starts to where our increase, I mean our decrease kind of ended there. And I'm going to go back on itself to secure it a little better. Oops. I 
Okay, down like that. And then I'm gonna go back up on that. And then I'm gonna go across, come down here, and then go back up. I'm gonna pull it fairly tight so that edge isn't sticking up too much. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Let's see here. Where I have, you know, call, of course all this is going to be open for your hand to go in and then I'm going to, I'm going to um, start my sewing down here, go up there and then back down, then go across. Where are we here? Go across and then up till our decreases start. Just go up here and come back down. All right. All right, a much faster way is if you don't pull it all the way through and then grab it on the other end, stick it back through is just go like this. Just figure that out when I was sitting there. I'm like, yes, I, I remember doing, sewing things like this before. <laughs> just go in, grab your piece, just like that. So much easier and faster. <laughs> and your sweater is complete. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>